or normal forms of planar vector fields. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I recall uh, that we are trying uh, to simplify vector fields of the form uh, V is V0 plus higher order terms. These vector fields are analytic and V0 is the leading part. So I consider only two situations when V0 is simply linear vector field and this singularity is called elementary. Ah, so here is uh, lambda. Uh, in this case, is just lambda 2 over lambda 1, ratio of eigenvalues. So this is elementary singularity, and the situation is uh, rather well known. And another is the case where V0 is, I don't know it, it VH, uh, which is written here. So it is Y plus lambda plus 1 X to R dX minus lambda R X to 2 R minus 1 dY. It is so-called bogdanov takian singularity. So Bogdanov leading part of bogdanov takian singularity can be reduced to such form. And there are, there are other higher order terms. Okay. Um, so reduction is by applying HH, where XY uh, is transformed by a diffeomorphism, which is time one flow uh, generated by a vector field Z. And the leading part of this change is just by a joint operator, uh, this is commutator. So the normal form is obtained by uh, determining the image of this operator at Vz. And we use splitting of the top operator using, oh, such diagram like here. And uh, I explain uh, what is the, in this diagram. So F is the space of uh, formal series, formal series of functions. Z are formal vector fields, which I used in, uh, in just the simplification. And we have uh, operators. A of V is, is uh, defined here, F times V. Uh, F of V on F is F times V. B of V, it is from vector fields to functions. So we take which product of V with Z and divide by uh, dx over dy. We obtain function. Uh, and now we have, uh, this is one homological operator, this is V, and we have other homological operators. Uh, this is C, C of V is just V of F, a, a derivative in the direction of F, of V. And D of V is just V of F minus divergence V and F. So these are these operators. These are also C, D and add are uh, homological operators. So we have a splitting of this operator, which is uh, quite complicated at V, into two operators, which are, in, in a sense, one dimensional because they act on functions. Mm. <coughs> so the rows of this diagram are so called. Uh, Kosher complexes, and when lambda here and here is non-zero, so it means that the singularity is uh, isolated. In this case, uh, the, uh, these rows are exact. So we can have a splitting of uh, the, the Z uh, as image of A plus uh, some complementary uh, 
to the minus b to minus one uh, of f. Mm -hmm. I recall that kernels of the operator C are just first integrals. It is easy. Uh, kernels of the operator D are inverse integrating multipliers. So this is function such that V divided by M, such uh, function M, uh, divergence of such vector field is zero. And this diagram commutes, oh, probably. Uh, now we want to uh, continue, apply, apply, apply this division to uh, study normal forms and the analyticity of the normal form. So I begin with elementary singularities. Okay, in the case of elementary singularities, we have easy operators. Operators C are just diagonal. So I take C of V on X to I, Y to J is just lambda one I plus lambda two J, X to I, Y to J, mm, D. Okay, lambda one, I minus one. X to I, Y to J. Uh, okay. Mm. We use a uh, norm, a norm of a series F will be just some a i j modulus rho to i plus j, where f is sum a i j x to i y to j, where rho is the radius of con curve convergence. Uh, so the focus case. Uh, elementary, so it means that lambda uh, is non-real. In that case, we can consider operators, uh, the operator CD of V, it is just C of V, restricted to FD, which are polynomials of degree equal D, homogeneous polynomial. Uh, okay, oh, and also D, D of V. Uh, these operators are uh, isomorphism. Because these numbers here are not zero. So they are a diagon, di diagonal operators. Uh, but what I can say, uh, I can give a pure proof that in this case we have analyzed the normal, so normal form is uh, linear. So everything can be killed. Uh, and now I'm going to show uh, that this normal form is obtained in analytic way. That the, uh, uh, then we have convergence of. Uh, so, uh, assume that we have V would be V0, V0 is like there, plus W, and W is of high order. We can uh, prepare, prepare, uh, make initial change of coordinates such that we have this. This is of high order. Uh, and we want to show that C D of oh simply C of V uh, and D of V 
are bounded operators. And then uh, usual iteration procedure uh, allows to prove the convergence. Uh, I don't want to go, go to details. So, uh, consider this operator. So, C of V would be just C of V0 V plus, of course, C of W by definition. Uh, so, write it as C of V0. Uh, identity minus identity minus k in this way, so c of v to minus one would be just oh uh, i minus k. ah okay okay and k k here is minus c of v zero to minus one. Uh, C of W. Uh, this is some K to N C of V0 to minus 1. And we have to show that this series is convergent. This is so-called von Neumann series. Uh, but the, it is easy because uh, when restricted to FD, we have C of V0 to minus 1 is less than, OK, some constant over, uh, oh, so uh, I write CD, CD like here. Uh, some constant over d because of those eigenvalues. Uh, but uh, norm, norm, norm of this operator, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but norm of C of W, uh, say d, or maybe e, e uh, it is less. Uh, then uh, equal then another constant, d times e. So it follows that the norm of, of the operator k, k is uh, less than some constant uh, rho. Ah, ah okay, okay, and well, 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 uh, and rho to d. Uh, to to n when n is the order of 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 uh, this vector field w mm -hmm. higher order so it would be rho to n times uh, uh, d d plus d plus n and it is small. So this norm is less than one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, C of uh, C D of V uh, of W goes from F D to F D plus N. Oh. And then we use we use this this uh, estimate. So we have. Uh, Numerator and dominator are growing with n, but they are bounded. They are, and small constant is obtained by, by, this, uh, by this choice. Uh, similar situation is in the case with uh, 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 resonant node. So I don't, don't focus on the case. Now I, I want to say something about the case when we have non-resonant saddle. Mm 
minus, oh, Uh, also, the f uh, normal form is linear because uh, this number is non-real, and this, uh, uh, so th these, are, these, are, these numbers are non-zero, so these operator, uh, operators are isomorphic. Uh, but here we is a problem of small divisors. So I say how to uh, deal with that problem and to prove uh, analysis on or on analysis. Uh, so again, we assume V is V0 plus W, and now we write W would be just F1, uh, V0 plus F2 E, where E is x dx plus y dy is the uh, Euler vector field. And there is a uh, well-defined such, such division. Uh, OK. So we have here uh, f1 v0 would be just A of V0 times F1, so from here, A of V0, uh, and B of V0, F2, E, so we have here vector field, and B is, uh, acts here, B of V0 would be just lambda 1 minus lambda 2, x, y, and f2. Okay. Now, the idea of Ilyashenko. We take a family, vz, would be V0 plus zeta W, and zeta belongs to C. Additional parameter. One parameter uh, of vector fields. Uh, and there is following fact. It turns out that either I Uh, the normalizing series is convergent for all zeta in some domain d rho for some rho depending on zeta or Second possibility, the series diverges for all zeta except of a set k, k say kw, of measure zero, of, okay, of Lebesgue measure zero. So it is, uh, uh, this result was used a very long time ago to prove uh, just uh, non analysis of some singularities. Uh, and now, 
to exclude the first uh, uh, alternative, we assume the, the following, that lambda, oh, such series, x to i y plus j, uh, divided by lambda 1i plus lambda 2j, is divergent for all x, y different from 0, 0. Uh, uh, x, y, x, y, yes, yes, different from 0, 0. Mm -hmm. So it is an uh, assumption about this uh, ratio, ratio of eigenvalues, lambda. And it holds for a set of, uh, dense set of, of, of such eigenvalues. And another is that, uh, to exclude the second, it is that all coefficients of F1 and F2 uh, are bounded by a geometric con uh, series. So, there is no possibility one, and also there is no, uh, no possibility two, uh, yes, because the following. Assume that we have a change, g, it is g depending on parameter zeta here, and on uh, depending on x, y, uh, and then d over d z, d zeta uh, at zeta equals zero of this g zeta is defined by operators, by linear part, by operators c of v zero and d of v0. And because uh, these operators, oh, so if it is analytic, so we, if we have such situation li like here, um, yes, if we have this situation, uh, then this would be uh, convergent. The, the, this would define uh, this operator, this operator, uh, this, this uh, would be analytic. But it is not analytic because of this assumption. So this is old idea uh, by Ilyashenko. Later it was uh, uh, used by Perez Marco. So uh, the conclusion is that for densest set of lambdas and generic perturbation, generic perturbation W, oh here W, generic means that F1 and F2 are generic, we have uh, divergence. Now another situation. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Resonant 
סדר. So we assume that lambda is minus k over L uh, ratio. Uh, so this singularity is of special type. Uh, here, kernel C of V0. Also, uh, V is, assume V0 plus would be generally W. Oh, we can write V1 plus uh, higher terms. Uh, kernel of V0 of the linear part is easy. It is C of uh, F. Okay. F is X to K, Y to L. Uh, also, kernel of D of V0 is uh, X, Y times C of F, okay. Um, therefore, these operators uh, are the operators CD and DD restricted to spaces of functions uh, of polynomials of so, uh, given degree, sometimes are invertible and sometimes are not invertible. And it is easy to find the uh, corresponding normal form. For example, ah, they are also diagonal, like here. So here, the co-kernel uh, Yes, co-kernel of uh, CD of V0 would be just C times F to M, where D is M uh, R0, R0, M M times uh, K plus L. Oh. And similarly here. Mm, so I focus on, on this operator. So we have uh, non-zero kernel, non-zero co Co-kernel, co kernel co I mean, uh, the space uh, complementary to the, to the image. And the image is just, uh, yes, mm -hmm, complementary to the space. Okay. So now I claim that, oh, this operator, uh, that the, a reduction to normal form, the normal form would be using all oh, this operator C of V0 and uh, D of V0 in the first level of analysis. In the second level of an analysis, we could use all oh, some terms from this kernel to reduce some uh, terms from the first level normal form. But I, I want to present you the proof of uh, non analyticity even at the, at the first level. So, what I assume? Mm. So, I assume V1 would be first term, uh, which is uh, which is in in this uh, first level normal form, so v one would be uh, just 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 just, just uh, where it is ah a f to n times e. Mm -hmm. F to n times E. E is the uh, Euler operator. Okay. Uh, uh, now, uh, 
Taik. Uh, instead of C of V0, we take the operator C restricted, operator of V0, so would, it would be uh, just uh, C of V0 restricted to a projection to a space, subspace, complementary to kernel. And as uh, in the previous case, we are interested in the operator k is equal minus c restricted take uh, of V0 to minus one. This operator is uh, invertible because we act on the space complementary to, to the kernel times P, where P is the projection times C of V1. Recall that V0 is just that vector field and V1 is this. Okay. So, uh, of course, we are interested in the series sum k to n. Is the series uh, divergent or, or not? So, take f equal x f to m. Uh, okay, so here you have V1, then E of F is uh, MK plus L plus ML plus 1. E is the Euler operator, so it gives, gives us the degree. Uh, and C of v, V1 acting on F would be just A, this F, uh, it is A times A, oh, okay, okay, here you have A, MK plus ML plus 1, X, and here F2, M plus N. And K of F would be minus A, MK plus ML plus 1, over lambda 1, X, and F to uh, M plus N. So we obtain a coefficient uh, which is about degree. Okay, it's about degree. And here in denominator we don't have a large number. We have, we have a number which is not bounded. Uh, but when we take iteration of this operator, so we must apply the same. So it turns out that K to uh, say NF norm grows like uh, some gamma function of uh, gamma function of uh, uh, alpha times N. And this means divergence. This means divergence. Because uh, convergence would be uh, only when we have uh, estimate like uh, uh, exponential estimate. Uh, 
And this is super exponential, so it means divergence. And next, so it is divergence of the linear approximation, and then to, the, to prove the divergence for general case, we use the uh, trick of Ilyashenko. Okay. More or less, the same holds for the Bogdanov token singularities. Uh, only things are more complicated. So I say a little about Bogdanov token singularities. Ah, so this approach here. Uh, is different than approach using Stokes operators, etc. It is only some kind of uh, algebra and function analysis. And probably it was not, not, not used uh, before. Now Bogdanov tokens. Ah. Uh, so here we have grading such that degree of x, I don't know if it's grading by degree h of x is 1, and degree of y is uh, r. I recall that uh, r can be integer of, of half, half integer. But when it is half integer, then lambda is here minus one, so th there is no this term. But everything otherwise is uh, okay. Mm. So this VH is R minus one. It is quasi homogeneous vector field uh, of degree. R minus one. So we have the operator C D go from F D uh, to F D plus R minus one. And you know when we have uh, half it in t uh, R is half integer, then there are some problems, etc. So it uh, it has influence on normal form. Mm-hmm. Okay. So consider now case with positive lambda. Positive lambda means uh, that uh, uh, we have ed either situation is non-resonant or there is a um, special resonance uh, when lambda is, uh, oh, maybe, maybe even lambda uh, greater than one. When lambda is integer, then there are some, some problems. It is so-called type two, which, uh, uh, you know, definition was uh, introduced in the previous lecture. Uh, so now the operators CD and DD are not diagonal, and I want to make them uh, close to diagonal type. So uh, take a change. Take Y, put Y is epsilon Z minus X to R where epsilon is a small constant, a non-zero small constant. Uh, then this vector field VH uh, becomes vector field UH of the following form. It is x to r minus 1, here lambda 1 x dx plus rz dz plus epsilon z uh, d 
x, so I write it as x to r minus one u zero plus epsilon u one, and u one will be s epsilon u one would be small with respect to u zero, and u zero looks like diagonal, but only with factor factor x to r minus one. Okay, CD and DD are like here, act between such spaces. Okay, now we write, ah, here uh, lambda is positive, so we are not in the case of generalized cusp when r is uh, uh, half integer. Anyway, we have the following. Uh, d would be just d0 plus r d1. Uh, and fd is spanned by the following functions, x to d, x to d minus r, y, and uh, x to d, d zero, y to d one, o. So it is of dimension d plus one, C uh, D one plus one, yeah. And what you have? So C D and also D D acts between C D one plus one and C uh, d1 plus 2, if d0 is different from 0, and uh, c d1 plus 1 and c d1 plus 1. Otherwise, uh, So the, here the operator operators are not surjective. It, mean, it means that uh, there, is, there are complementary one-dimensional subspaces for the images, and this one-dimensional subspaces correspond to some terms in the uh, normal form. In this case, these operators are, uh, are correct. Uh, moreover, we can see that, for example, CD uh, of this vector field here, x to r minus one, u zero, when acting on x to i, y to j, it is, uh, lambda i plus rj x to r minus one times x to i y to j. So these op operators look like diagonal like, but uh, here is a one factor. Uh, So maybe about the normal form here. Uh, the normal form here would be following. Uh, there is a similar action of the operators CD, DD, etc. And the normal forms are just uh, associated with uh, 
we must, when we have something uh, from here, then we uh, must take b to minus one, take, take, take some vector field from here, and that ten vector field from here would be of the form uh, Oh, like E, uh, like uh, Euler vector field, etc. So, here the normal form is following bits C of X. Z times UH plus phi of XZ times E. Okay, EH, where EH is X DX plus R Z uh, DZ. Uh, so this part is the orbital normal form, C is orbital factor, and we have following uh, functions here. Phi is, can be chosen as phi zero of Z plus X phi one of Z plus plus X two R minus one, minus two phi R, phi two R minus two, uh, oh, R minus two of z, psi is psi zero of z plus plus x to r minus one, psi r minus two of z. So we don't have terms with uh, power of x r minus one. And this is, and this form is, uh, normal form is unique, unique. The, the, there is, there are no, uh, no improvements. And we can prove that this normal form is analytic, like in the elementary focus case. Uh, simply because this operator, this, this vector field, uh, consists of uh, diagonal-like vector field plus more perturbation, so the corresponding operators uh, so homological operators for uh, just CD would be cons consists of dominating operator and small operator. And after projection, after uh, composing with suitable projections, uh, the inverse of the top of this homological operator would be bounded inverse of this operator would be bounded by a constant divided by degree. And this is enough. It, it is like in the elementary singularities. So this gives the analysis of this normal form here. Uh, or just uh, in this case, lambda, ah, lambda greater than one and lambda not integer. When lambda is integer, then situation is slightly more complicated because uh, the operator D of uh, V, D of VH uh, has non-trivial kernel for one situation. And when it is, has non-trivial kernel, then the situation is more complicated. In that case, uh, the co-kernel would be also, also non-trivial. And next, uh, the, the f, uh, elements from this kernel can be used in some way, very precise way, to kill other terms of the, of the normal form of the first level. First level normal form is obtained by using only homo homological operator associated, well, just with this uh, quasi-homogeneous vector field. 
How much time do, you, do I have? Five minutes. Okay. So uh, I have here prepared how that, that unique normal form in, the, in this case is obtained, but I skip it. Uh, the case when lambda is negative and irrational is treated more or less in the same way as in the elementary situation using the Ilyashenko argument. Uh, one, can, one can adapt, adapt that argument to this situation. Maybe a few words about cast singularity, generalized cast. So assume that, so better with generalized. So R is one half R zero belongs to one half of z minus z. Uh, and of course here lambda is minus one. Here divergence, so, so v0, vh is just y dx plus r x to r0 minus one uh, dy. So it is Hamiltonian vector field with Hamilton function, h is one half, uh, y square minus uh, x to r zero. Mm. And then we have uh, different situations. We can take degree equal d zero, plus d2 r0 or d equal d0 plus d1 times r plus d2 r0 uh, and the corresponding spaces fd uh, have different dimensions so Anyway, the operators CD of V0 are ah, written in the basis. Basis is the following. Basis uh, basis are uh, like X to I, F to J or x to i, y, f to j. Uh, we use uh, follow, uh, su such basis in these spaces. Are either diagonal or uh, upper triangular. When they are Diagonal, then uh, the inverses are bounded by constant divided by degree, but the, when they, from, uh, yes, from below, from below and from above, but the, when they are not diagonal, up, upper triangular, then inverse can be bounded from below by a constant not depending on the degree, on, on, on this degree. Uh, and now when we have V is V0 plus V1, V1 is from normal form, then uh, homological operators associated with V1 will have large norm, and the corresponding operators K, which is, uh, uh, say, C of V0, restricted to minus one times uh, uh, C of V1, 
uh, we have rather um, rather widely. Some of them are uh, uh, bounded uh, by a constant, not depending on degree, but some of them uh, will be uh, bounded from below by a constant depending on degree. So, generally, they, the norms of this operator will behave super exponentially. And this means divergence. So, I finish on this. Questions? My question is about the Bogdanov Takin's normal form. You mentioned the first talk that you have a geometric proof also. That's right or not? Uh, so of uh, Frank Lore? Yes. So my question is, um, uh, okay, your pro proof, um, how to say, historically was pre preceded the proof of Frank yes. Lore. So yes. clearly Frank Lore was inspired by the fact uh, yes. uh, which was unexpected that the f normal form is analytic and he gave, he succeeded to give a geometric proof. And now, <coughs> as you know that this geometric proof exists, uh, did you help this to improve the direct proof no, in a classical, no, no, or, or it remains no, 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 independent? No, no, no. no be because, because our normal form is not by uh, improving Takens normal form, so uh, deleting some terms from the Takens normal form. We use uh, just another normal form. I, I recall that Takens normal form was just y plus a of x dx plus b of x dy. But our normal form is just psi. Generally, generally we can use uh, psi of x. Uh, times uh, dh plus say uh, phi of x e h oh and this is different in fact th there were works about improving the Takin's normal form so uh, uh, indicating the terms which can be removed and in our f first paper, we uh, present that relation of our result with those results. Yeah. There is uh, some relation, but, but uh, I cannot write down here because th th they, are, uh, they are not, uh, Thank they you. not easy. So I am also doing complicated mathematics. <laughs> There's some complicated question for complicated mathematics or easy question. Quick question or question? Uh, it's a kind of an interview. <laughs> so, uh, so go on. So I know you because of this uh, the, the, the article uh, about center focus and so on. And then uh, you started this one, which is the normal form of singularities and so on. Do you th uh, what was the reason? switch or is there any relation <laughs> oh, no it's life life, life. <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, not easy life of, of uh, uh, not easy mathematician No answer, no, no comments, no comments. I, I think this philosophical answer is a good point to stop the, this, uh, this morning session. If there are no, no other questions. And so I recall you that in the afternoon there are two more lectures. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.